Happy Tuesday, folks. I am waiting on my Garmin GPS maps to update while I am packed and loaded and ready to hit the road for Paducah. How about that? So, uh, anyway, um, hope everybody's safe from the storms. Uh, Sandy looked brutal. Just can't imagine how hard that is for folks. Uh, but I did want to show the 120. Uh, you know, after that water change, things kicked up. But, you know, the nice thing about a good filtration system is it helps filter all that. Uh, still not crazy about uh, what that looked like yesterday. I uh, still need to do a little work, a few water changes, some maintenance. But uh, that's an FX5 on a 120 tall. And it just goes to show why you want to overfiltrate because things clear up quick. But I still have some things in that tank that, you know, I need to work on. So, anyway, I um, hope you guys are doing well. I hope uh, everybody's having a great Tuesday. There's the Bose Monty pair in the corner there, kind of going up and down. Really pretty. And, uh, and the turquoise rainbows are looking stellar as always. And let me see, I don't see any discus in the front. They're kind of in the back and the swords. But if I put some food out, uh, they'll definitely come out. But uh, I really like what's going on on my, uh, on my foreground plants. Um, you know, there's some dwarf sage in there. There's some clover. There's some glosso. And it's all just kind of running together. Just kind of giving it a neat kind of uh, look. And then the hair grass hasn't really come all the way over but it's looking really neat right in here and filling out and definitely thickening right in here and I think those uh, root tabs I put it like one or two root tabs right over in here to help because the roots on the hair grass is really kind of shallow and it just couldn't get down to the organic dirt and, you know some of that mineral content will leach up into the sand but my, my bet is uh, the root tabs really help matter of fact kind of see the roots there on it on there's one kind of floating but it you know it, it may barely be reaching into the organic dirt uh, the other challenge is uh, I put the new lock spectrum pellets in here and then the quarry cats root it all up so they're kind of the pigs of the tank but uh, kind of like how that's looking and uh, just to kind of pull back and give you guys a, a bigger view the wisteria is doing really well in there um, I got some new growth in the bacopa kind of creeping up in the front behind those uh, driftwood and then uh, just looks really good pretty happy with it uh, and I think this baby tear is going to have a chance to crawl to the front now and I really like it when it crawls instead of when it gets really really tall um, it just looks neater when it stays on the ground it'll crawl a lot better and carpet a lot better if you're injecting CO2 I'm not so just kind of have to take a little bit more time to get what I want, but uh, anyway. But you can still see I got a little bit of kick up. There's a little bit of fine stuff floating around, but not near as bad as it was uh, yesterday after the water change. And what really happens is it sets in my uh, FX5 filter while I'm doing the water change, and then I kick it on, and then it just like blows smoke. It literally looks like it's blowing smoke, and. Uh, and what's weird is I'm actually using using the FX5 outtake, uh, running a big hose to the toilet uh, as a way to quickly uh, pull water out of here. While I, while I hydrovac with the uh, Aquion uh, water exchanger. Uh, so anyway, that's kind of how I do that. But pull out here, this is looking good. Uh, feeling good about leaving it. And uh, 33 as always is looking good. So pulled out a lot of plants here. Uh, totally trimmed this uh, micro, so, micro sword and, and dwarf sag. You can see a lot of shrimps uh, or shrimplets and um, a lot of little Beckford pencil fish I didn't know I had are in here as well which is kind of cool and uh, now you can see there's I can see about four or five right now so those guys are uh, turning into rabbits on me 
Uh, I don't even, you know, as far as I know, they lay eggs. I don't know where they're laying them, and I don't know how they're hatching, but seem to be doing okay. So, uh, anyway, um, here's a 33. Hope everybody's safe from Sandy, and I hope you guys have a great Tuesday. And uh, time to uh, get on the road. I'm hoping my, uh, I had no idea that it was going to take this long to update the GPS map, so it's like watching uh Watching paint dry. But uh, you guys be good. Happy Tuesday. And uh, I'll catch you guys in a few days. Later.